Hello good people, this is Fisher12 and we have another exciting episode of the Black Ops show for you guys today as always and today is a very special day because today marks the beginning of the Black Ops 3 beta. Now if you haven't heard by now the beta takes up about 12 gigs of space which is a lot and consequently takes a while to download and even longer to install. But there are a few setting changes you can make to your console that will speed up both the download and installation times of the beta so that's what I'm going to be bringing to you guys today. Now, now, even though the beta is only out for PS4 at this time, many of these adjustments can be made on the Xbox One as well, and I'll point out the ones that can't. And even though this video is specifically titled for the Black Ops 3 beta, these tricks are going to work with all games and downloadable content. So let's begin with downloading. Two sort of basic yet crucial elements that will have an impact on your downloading times are having a wired connection and not doing anything else on your console while the download is in progress. All these other changes are second to having a wired connection and then ceasing all other activity. So once you make sure of those, the first actual change though is the DNS settings. Now, DNS simply tells your console what IP address belongs to what hostname, so it doesn't have a direct impact on your network connection, but naturally a DNS server located in New York would provide quicker results to someone in Virginia versus a DNS server in Seattle. A lot of people recommend setting your primary DNS to 8.8.8.8 .8 and your secondary DNS to 8.8.4.4, .4 .4, which are Google's DNS servers. But, there are tools out there that will tell you the actual closest DNS server to you right now. My personal favorite is called Namebench, it's cross-platform, I'll leave a link to it in the description. I highly recommend you guys download one of these tools, give it a run and see which DNS server is closest to you because it might not even be Google's. The next change you can make is to the MTU settings, and again, this setting doesn't change your network connection at all, but it does change the amount of data your console sends to Sony at once. So you want to set this as close to 1500 as possible. I think 1473 is the golden number for people on PS4. The benefit to changing this is that Sony's server can easily identify your console as a console and not a DDoS attempt, so you might hit the download servers just a little bit faster. The last change you can make that will speed up your download times is to give your console a static IP and to put it in a DMZ on your local network. Putting a device in the DMZ forwards all the ports on it, and the advantage to this is that the different services running off of these ports running on the server are less restricted when connected to your console, you're essentially just removing the firewall and that step from the network completely. So obviously the disadvantage is that this is a big security hazard because you're leaving your device vulnerable to an attack. A good analogy for this is like leaving your front door open. Sure your best friend will be able to get inside quicker to play video games with you, sure the mailman can get inside quicker to deliver mail to you, but a burglar can get inside quicker and steal from you as well. So typically this would not be recommended for a computer or for a phone, but since this is a console and if we're only using it to download the beta, as long as we take it out of the DMZ when we're done, it's fine to put it in the DMZ to begin with. Now, when it comes to actually installing the game, you have a little more control. Both consoles have two modes that you can move your console into that should speed up the installation times. The option on the PS4 is called Rest Mode, and this basically stops all other applications from running in the background, allowing all the processing power to be put towards your active downloads. And on the Xbox One, you can put your console into Offline Mode, which basically ceases the internet connection. The catch here with this is that not all the games will allow for it. You can also try turning off your controller, because this will additionally free up some processing power as well. But those are the main changes you can make to your console to speed up the download and installation times and hopefully get you playing the Black Ops 3 beta just a little bit quicker. But that's going to do it for the video that I have for you guys today, so like and share it if you enjoyed, and subscribe to the channel for more Black Ops 3 content. But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and take care.